Good afternoon. We've got a little bit of an update for you on the heatsink greenhouse. We're having to rework our manifold. I didn't have it buried into the soil very deep, and as the ground dried out, it began to blow the air underneath that barrel and to the outside. It was no longer forcing it down through our drain tiles and actually into the heat sink. So we're going to dig down, oh, probably almost to the rock, wet the soil down, put the drum back in place, put the soil around it, pack it, and wet it as it goes, and hopefully that will take care of our problem. As for the update, we have begun to use the fan here to cool the temperature in the greenhouse. We have not opened up the side wall down here on the other end. And here is the end wall opposite of the fan. And we've been seeing some pretty high temperatures in the peak as a result. We're talking 110 or so. Uh, we have been running this fan when it gets hot out here. In about half an hour on a sunny day like today, I can drop the temperatures anywhere from 8 to 12 degrees just by running that fan. That gets that temperature so far below 100 degrees, which these plants that have grown all the way up to the peak should be able to handle. I'll keep an eye on the plants, I'll keep an eye on the temperatures, but I believe that as the summer months get in, I'm going to need to open up the end wall down there. When it gets hot, that square here in the center of the screen is probably going to end up coming out to allow a little more ventilation through the greenhouse. The end wall on the other side has the door, and I'm hoping the combination of that plastic being out, the door being open, and the fan running will be sufficient to keep the temperatures in the greenhouse suitable to continue to grow. All right, it's back in and functional. We got it about a foot deeper than it was before. We can't go a whole lot deeper because of the rock heat sink underneath it, but so far so good. If this doesn't work, the dirt will come out and I will try sand. I don't want to do concrete yet. It may still be necessary to add an extra fan like the one on the top of the barrel to get us through the winter. We'll find out this winter. If that's the case, that barrel will come out. I will build a wood manifold and mount a second fan on top of it. I don't know, so because I don't know, I don't want to do anything that's going to be more permanent. For now, this is going to have to do. If this is the first video that you've seen in the series, I will put an in-screen link here to the geothermal heatsink greenhouse build series, and you can see exactly what we're doing out here.